on the campus of the University of Alabama. This is Coleman Coliseum, where tonight what should be a tremendous basketball game. The University of Houston comes to town to take on Alabama. Both teams ranked in the top 15. One loves to get up and down, the other digs in on defense as well as anybody in the country. And kick back out to Shed. Really good job on the offensive glass to rip a ball away by Fabian White. The runner, and that one falls by from Jamal Shed. Houston's black jerseys rebound against one another. Ooh, for 40 that in your face defense. Javon Quinterly just ran into a wall. Then a quick pass down low, and a really good look for Charles Pediaco, the freshman out of Canada. Rabbit sees two clubs. Tyler Edwards, good score. Reggie Cheney. Fabian White's really improved his jump shot. Little ball fake to get a defender in the air, and Edwards kicks into the corner. That is White. And he gets the friendly roll. Just a really good player, Fabian White, on both ends of the floor. Probably their best screener, a really good ball mover from the four position. Watch out. Yeah. Brady, Houston struggled last year against Baylor with the middle ball screen. It dimes. You have to physically hard tag those rollers. And Houston has not done it on either play. Now Bediaco came out. He left a man open. Now the baseline pass. Corner three. That's good. Quinterly with Bediaco setting that high screen for him. And we'll start it again. Quinterly one of the best point guards in the country. Three ball. Gary. Jawan Gary buries it from the corner. And both teams who've waited a long time today to finally get on the court. Nine o'clock local. Come out on fire. For Shed. Little contact. Little push off underneath. And watch. Davison run. He's got Shackelford on his left. He'll go there. Shackelford rattles one in. That's a three. Alabama last year. J.D. Davison wasn't the fact that he just wanted to stay at home. It was a coincidence that the program would shoot him as well as any. And there's a hard stuff on the baseline by Reggie Cheney. But the 13-11. Edwards three, Kyler's too strong, and now Quinterly's got a three on two. He takes it himself yeah. and lays it up for the left hand. He had the same layup opportunity the last time in five of seven. And that Shackleford shot left him open. Yeah. Free ball, bottom of the net. Sellout crowd of almost 15,000 on his feet. Good hands. Davison knocked it away. Underneath a couple of opportunities, and it's finally put in by Fabian White. Yeah, off he was. <laughs> <laughs> well, both clubs really trying to impact those ball screens defensively. Sasser yeah. step back three. That was impressive, and he did it right in the face of Keon Ellis, a good defender. He is seen, and he comes up a little short. And now Davison will try to push. Five star prospect point guard has been outstanding. Beautiful. Gary with a nice follow, and he lays it up and in. Darius Miles. And Miles drops it off, and Gurley, that's a turnover. Happened the last time we had substitutions for Bama, and that leads to an easy run out and dunk for Sasser. Ravi Huser, three, could tie it, 22, 19, eight and a half to go. In the first half, Shed with three on the shot clock. The high archer, it's a one point game. When you're, it's like breathing. It's a non-negotiable, and Alabama has to answer that tonight. Set play, no good. Offensive rebound, it is. and that's a putback yeah. and up and in. You mentioned it. Jawan Roberts leads the team with almost seven, seven rebounds a game, 7.7, .7, and he's picking up some more. Quinterly, pretty play. Ravi, I think the best five teams we have in the college game right now in order, Baylor, Arizona, Purdue, Duke, and Kansas. I think Arizona. There are the top five, and Duke off that loss to Ohio State. Of course, they beat Gonzaga. That ball knocked right into Gary's hand, yeah. and he picks it up on the baseline to knock it in. That Duke kick him. That's an air ball. Sasser had that kick. Shackelford, there's Gary. He's ahead. Count the basket. He'll go to the free throw line. Jawan Gary picking up the scoring slack in the last few minutes. Good dump yeah. off in Carlton. That's a nice play. Sasser, who's taking a lot of those shots, this time dunks it off to the big UConn transfer. And Carlton. In your matchup. So big in a game like this. Gary, gotcha. good position there. He just beat him to the baseline. Because of it. Sasser all the way to the hole. That's too strong, but the offensive rebound up and in by Carlton. He draws a lot of attention to Sasser. The value of getting the ball on the glass in this game cannot be overstated because the offensive rebound. Ooh. 
Good pass, Gurley, underneath, count it, and he'll go to the free throw line. But Javon Quinterly is putting on a clinic with like it was going to be a good game. Memphis is a mess right they now. They are a mess. Shed, blow by, kick three. Moore buries it. We've shed all the credit there. He blew by Quinterly, and that allowed everybody to collapse on him. And that is on Phil. Davison back in. He oh. tried. And that's a freshman mistake there. And here comes Houston. Sasser contested three. That's down. Well, you talk about turning a turnover into three quick points. 90 seconds to go, first half. Oh, in traffic. What a shot by Marcus Sasser. He's got 12. To me, bolting these two terrific teams. Back and forth, everything contested. Sasser, ankle breaker, right over Davison. He's back in, he plays with two fouls. It's a good ball fake. Yeah, nearly right. got his third, but he avoided it, and Fabian White knocks in a couple. White and Chang him out of his life, and it's all pure ball right now, which you have to have at your point guard spot. Shed, good look away. He caused Shackelford to go out, and the three-pointer is good. Four yep. seconds, Jimmy, on the inbounds. Quinterly will have to fire it up here on a tough shot. That's Buries huge. it. Wow. That is huge. Reggie Cheney just lost his defensive discipline on a short clock. And cut throw line. Houston has attempted seven free throws. They've made four. Quinterly lobbed to oh, Veniato. That's a perfect pass. Rabbi, what a pass because the. White trouble in paint. He throws it up and he gets it to go. Fabian White five points here in the second half. The floor is space. You better keep Houston off the offensive glass with his spacing. Quinterly stepped around a Carlton screen. And how about Shed with a little floater in the lane? Really under. And just bounced that ball screen out, impacted hard. Ooh, Sasser. Oh, he buries a three, and he was about seven feet behind the three-point line. Tremendous leg strength. He shoots a ball from 26 to 27 as well as he does from 22. Well, Shackelford wide open needs that, and he buries yeah. it. They He's fired. their best three-point shooter. Fire with exactly what Houston did. Davison gets oh. it. Ravi, that's him. Back on top by two. J.D. Davison, the freshman. Shed the floater. He's been really good with that shot tonight. He knocks it in. He's short on that shot. Offensive rebound. Missed underneath. White. And then underneath again is Jawan Roberts. Watch Shed alley-oop. Look out. That ball was deflected. <laughs> Quinterly not slowing down, gets it to go. Boy, has he been magical tonight. I How do you handle that top-level speed? Mm. Too strong. Davison had it for a chance, and How that ball is, is put up and in with the foul. The ball finds Jawan Roberts again. How Sasser is not a pure point guard. He's a scoring guard, and Houston now will play extended minutes without a point guard on the floor. Gary. What a cut. Ooh, and a finger roll. That's what I'm talking about. If you 17 for Sasser leads the way for Houston. The step through and the drive. What a dish. And there's Roberts. No rebound needed there with a flush. Houston just burned the pressure by keeping separation on their ball screen and allowed for an alley. And yet again, Hooker has it. We're still tied at 63. I think he misses on purpose, hoping he can get another <laughs> rebound. I'm just saying. Teardrop, Shackelford, he gets that to go. A play that eight and a half to go. Josh Carlton trying to muscle in against Gurley. Got him in the air. No foul. And that time, Quinterly comes away with it. He knows one speed That's all it. the way to the rack, and he lays it up and lays it in. Quinterly, 15 points. And working hard again with a teardrop block there by Carlton and Sasser. Terrific job by Carlton as a secondary defender. Oh, what Count a play. It. He drew the foul on Shackelford and Sasser. Pretty drive. Look at the battle for the offensive rebound, and it ended up in the hands of Roberts. 
kick three, shed, and it goes down once again. Jawan Roberts with an offensive rebound. I tell you what I've learned, that, right? On film, I knew Houston was dynamic. Oh. And the other way, J.D. Davison, and he draws the foul. He's got eight on the shot clock, trapped in a corner. Dribbles out of it, launches. No good. That's Carlton wow. with an offensive rebound. Somebody other than Roberts. You get so concerned that Memphis have a higher block rate in the freshman class than Betty Yako, so Alabama loses some rim protection with him gone. Shackleford knocks in a three, and he gets knocked to the ground. Both teams, 10 fouls, double bonus. Each will shoot two. The shed. Five-pointer Lee reverse, no good. Offensive rebound and a foul. Give that to Carlton. And they go in the game. Kind of Robert Parrish type ah, release, like wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, very, very well, much so. Well, certainly with like the Robert arc Parrish. on the shot. Yeah. Shackleford Again. set play, knocks down another one. You know it's coming. Five, one minute to go in the game, 10 on the shot clock. Sasser, long three. Got it! Wow. Woo. Marcus Sasser, 23. All right, he'll take it. Tough shot. Bam. Rebound! J.D. Davison with a flush. And how about the freshman? Right. No ball screen, just let him go to work. Loose ball. Recovered. Three, two, one. Off the iron. Tipped up. No good. Out of bounds. Alabama will defend the home court. Kelvin Sampson is screaming that that was a goaltend. And the ball was still on the rim when Davison sent it away. He's looking for two points. The officials are at midcourt. And I don't sense that they're going to look at it. And Sampson is grabbing the arm of the official. Sampson refuses to let him leave the court. Grabbing the officials did not make a call in live action, so therefore they cannot go to review it if my memory serves me correctly. But what a play by Davison to come in and throw that thing out of there. And we're going to clear the players yeah, out. They... Alabama should go to their side. Sasser's getting into it with some of the fans here. A heartbreaking defeat for Houston. They've got the ball on the rim. Just has to try to make a play. Or actually, it's a Kyler Edwards. Right here's the play in contention. It's hard to tell from that angle. Was the ball above the cylinder? It has, it's not, it wasn't on the rim. Is it above the cylinder? Watching it live, I didn't think it was. I thought it was the right call to just play on. But because the call wasn't made in live action, Ravi, I don't think the officials, that's not a reviewable play. A tough, hard finish for Houston to have to fly back home with. Man, we talked about it. It's not the first shot. It's the second shot. J.D. Davison does all he can to get low and strong in front of Jawan Roberts and send the ball to the corner and send Alabama out of here, right here with a win and the Heisman Trophy all the same night. Let's watch one more time. It's really I, hard I, yeah, to tell. Said, that, was it off of the iron? I Meaning, was it in front of or was it over the cylinder? Yeah, it was.